And Moses went and spake these words unto all Israel. And he said unto them, I am an hundred and twenty years old this day. I can no more go out and come in. Also the Lord hath said unto me, Thou shalt not go over this Jordan. The Lord thy God, he will go over before thee, and he will destroy these nations from before thee, and thou shalt possess them. I'm aware that you guys can see that, so I don't know what to do with it. Let me put it down. Nope. We will not. Oh, that's even worse. Ah. Don't look down now. Okay. The Lord thy God, he will go over before thee, and he will destroy these nations from before thee, and thou shalt possess them. And Joshua, he shall go over before thee as the Lord hath said. And the Lord shall do unto them as he did to Sihon and to Og, kings of the Amorites, and unto the land of them whom he destroyed. And the Lord shall give them up before your face, that ye may do unto them according unto all the commandments which I have commanded you. Be strong and of a good courage, fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that God go with you. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. And Moses called unto Joshua, and said unto him, In the sight of all Israel, Be strong, and be of a good courage, for God will go with his people into the land which the Lord hath sworn unto their fathers to give them, and thou shalt cause them to inherit it. And the Lord said, He it is that doth go before thee. He will be with thee, he will not fail thee. Neither forsake thee, fear not, neither be dismayed. And Moses wrote this law, and delivered it unto the priests, the sons of Levi, which bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord, and unto all the elders of Israel. And Moses commanded them, saying, At the end of every seven years, in the solemnity of the year of release, in the feast of tabernacles, when all Israel is come to appear before the Lord thy God, in the place which he shall choose, thou shalt read this law before all Israel in their hearing. Gather the people together, men and women, and children, and thy stranger that is within thy gates, that they may hear, and that they may learn, and fear the Lord your God, and observe to do all the words of this law. And that their children, which have not known anything, may hear, and learn to fear the Lord your God, as long as ye live in the land, whither ye go over Jordan to possess it. And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, thy days approach, that thou must die. Call Joshua, and present yourselves in the tabernacle of the congregation, that I may give him a charge. And Moses and Joshua went and presented themselves in the tabernacle of the congregation. And the Lord appeared in the tabernacle, in the pillar of a cloud, and the pillar of the cloud stood over the door of the tabernacle. And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, and this people will rise up and go a whoring after the gods of the strangers of the land, whither they go to be among them, and will forsake me, and break my covenant which I have made with them. Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, that I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured, and many evils and troubles shall befall them, so that they will say in that day, Are not these evils come upon us, because our God is not among us? And I will surely hide my face in that day, for all the evils which they shall have wrought, in that they are turned unto other gods. Now therefore write ye this song for you, and teach it the children of Israel, put it in their mouths, that this song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. For when I shall have brought them into the land which I swear unto their fathers that floweth with milk and honey, and they shall have eaten and filled themselves and waxen fat, then will they turn unto other gods and serve them and provoke me and break my covenant. And it shall come to pass when many evils and troubles are befallen them, that this song shall testify against them as a witness. For it shall not be forgotten out of the mouths of their seed, for I know their imagination which they go about even now, before I have brought them into the land which I swore. 
Moses therefore wrote this song the same day and taught it the children of Israel. And he gave Joshua the son of Nun a charge and said, Be strong and of a good courage, for thou shalt bring the children of Israel into the land which I swear unto them, and I will be with thee. And it came to pass when Moses had made an end of writing the words of this law in a book until they were finished, that Moses commanded the Levites which bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord, saying, Take this book of the law and put it in the side of the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, that it may be therefore a witness against thee. For I know thy rebellion and thy stiff neck. Behold, while I am yet alive with you this day, ye have been rebellious against the Lord, and how much more after my death. Gather unto me all the elders of your tribes and your officers, that I may speak these words in their ears, and call heaven and earth to record against them. For I know that after my death ye will utterly corrupt yourselves, and turn aside from the way which I have commanded you. And evil will befall you in the latter days, because ye will do evil in the sight of the Lord, to provoke him to anger through the work of your hands. And Moses spake in the ears of all the congregation of Israel the words of this song until they were ended. <coughs> Sorry. My throat started acting up for no reason. Like, really random. <sighs> Give, o, o, no. Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall shot drop. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. My speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. Because I will publish the names of the Lord, ascribe ye greatness unto our God. Attribute something to God. It's kind of the same thought we have. He is the rock. His word is perfect. That's not what it says. He is the rock. <laughs> I don't know what happened. He is the rock. His word is perfect. It says it again. He is the rock. His work is perfect. Praise the Lord. For all his ways are judgment. A God of truth, and without iniquity, just and right is he. They have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a perverse and crooked generation. Do ye thus requite the Lord, O foolish people, and unwise? Is not he thy father that hath bought thee? Hath he not made thee and established thee? Oh, that makes sense. Okay, that's why I was confused. I was like, I was confused. Although, didn't, didn't say it out loud. Didn't, didn't say it. My head is definitely going through some spiritual stuff right now. Uh, oh, my goodness. Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will shew thee thy elders, and they will tell thee. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people, Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. He found him in a desert land, and in the waste howling wilderness he led him about, he, inst he instructed him, he kept him as the apple of his eye. As an eagle stirs up her nest, fluttereth over her young, spreadeth abroad her wings, taketh them, beareth them on her wings, so the Lord alone did lead him, and there was no strange God with him. He made him ride on the high places of the earth, that he might eat the increase of the fields, and he made him to suck honey out of the rock and oil out of the flinty rock. Butter of kine and milk of sheep, with fat of limbs, and rams of the breed of Bashan, and goats with the fat of kidneys of wheat. And thou didst drink the pure blood of the grape. But Jeshurun waxed fat, and kicked, thou art waxen fat, thou art grown thick, thou art covered with fatness. 
Then he forsook God, which made him and lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. They provoked him to jealousy with strange gods, with abominations provoked they him to anger. They sacrificed unto devils, not to God, to gods whom they knew not, to new gods that came newly up, whom your fathers feared not. Of the rock that begat thee, thou art unmindful, and hast forgotten God that formed thee. And when the Lord saw it, he abhorred them, because of the provoking of his sons and of his daughters. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be, for they are a very forward generation, children in whom there is no faith. Does that mean the same thing? Perverse, stubborn, difficult, evil, disposed, difficult to deal with, contrary. Interesting. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities, and I will move them to jealousy with those who... That's not correct. And I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. I want to see the definition of this. The state of feeling of people. Well, I knew that. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. For a fire is kindled in mine anger, and shall burn unto the lowest hell, and shall consume the earth with her increase, and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. I will heap mischiefs upon them, I will spend mine arrows upon them. They shall be burnt with hunger, and devoured with burning heat, and with bitter destruction. I will also send the teeth of beasts upon them, with the poison of serpents of the dust. The sword without and terror within shall destroy both the young man and the virgin, the suckling also with the man of gray hairs. I said I would scatter them into corners. I would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. Were it not that I feared the wrath of the enemy, lest their adversaries should behave themselves strangely, and lest they should say, Our hand is high, and the Lord hath not done all this. For they are a nation void of counsel, neither is there any understanding in them. O oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider their latter end. How should one chase a thousand and two put thin? I had it and then I didn't. How should one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight, except their rock had sold them and the Lord had shut them up? For their rock is not as our rock, even our enemies themselves being judges. For their vine is of the vine of Sodom, and of the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gall, their clusters are bitter. Their wine is the poison of dragons, and the cruel venom of asps. Is that like a wasp? A small southern European viper with an upturned snout. No, but it gives me the same vibe. Is not this laid up in store with me, and sealed up among my treasures? To me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time, for the day of their calamity is at hand, and the things that shall come upon them make haste. For the Lord shall judge his people, and repent himself for his servants, when he seeth that their power is gone, and there is none shut up or left. And he shall say, Where are their gods, their rock in whom they trusted? Which did eat the fat of their sacrifices, and drank the wine of their drink offerings. Let them rise up and help you, and be your protection. See, now that I, even I, am he, there is no god with me. I kill, and I make alive. I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven, and say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword, and mine hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies. I will render vengeance to mine enemies, and will reward them that hate me. I will make mine arrows drunk with blood, and my sword shall devour flesh. 
and that with the blood of the slain and of the captives from the beginning of revenges upon the enemy. Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants, and will render vengeance to his adversaries, and will be more and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. And Moses came and spake all the words of this song in the ears of the people, he and Hosea. Hosea? <coughs> and Hosea the son of Nun. And Moses made an end of speaking all these words to all Israel. And he said unto them, Set your hearts unto all the words which I testify among you this day, which ye shall command your children to observe to do all the words of this law. <sighs> for it is not a vain thing for you, because it is your life. And through this thing ye shall prolong your days in the land, whither ye go over Jordan to possess it. And the Lord spake unto Moses that selfsame day, saying, Get thee up into this mountain Abram, unto Mount Nebo, which is in the land of Moab that is over against Jericho. And behold the land of Canaan, which I give unto the children of Israel for a possession. And die in the mount whither thou goest up, and be gathered unto thy people, as Aaron thy brother died in Mount Hor, and was gathered unto, the, unto his people. Because he trespassed against me among the children of Israel at the waters of Meribah Kadesh in the wilderness of Zin, because ye sanctified me not in the midst of the children of Israel, yet thou shalt see the land before thee, but thou shalt not go thither unto the land which I give the children of Israel. Our prayers are sometimes answered without us realizing. Praise the Lord. Amen. And this is the blessing wherewith Moses, the man of God, blessed the children of Israel before his death. And he said, The Lord came from Sinai and rose up from Seir unto them. He shined forth from Mount Paran, and he came with ten thousands of saints from his right hand, went a fiery law for them. Yea, he loved the people, all his saints are in thy hand. And they sat down at thy feet, every one shall receive of thy words. Moses commanded us a law, even the inheritance of the congregation of Jacob. And he was king in Jeshurun, when the heads of the people and the tribes of Israel were gathered together. Let Reuben live and not die, and let not his men be few. And this is the blessing of Judah. And he said, Hear, Lord, the voice of Judah, and bring him unto his people. Let his hands be sufficient for him, and be thou in help to him from his enemies. And of Levi he said, Let thy thummim and thy urim be with thy holy one, whom thou didst prove at Massa, and with whom thou didst strive at the waters of Nineveh. Who said unto his father and to his mother, I have not seen him, neither did he acknowledge his brethren, nor knew his own children, for they have observed thy word and kept thy covenant. They shall teach Jacob thy judgments, and Israel thy law. They shall put increase before thee, and whole burnt sacrifice upon thine altar. Bless, Lord, his substance, and accept the work of his hands. Smite through the loins of them that rise against him, and of them that hate him, that they rise not again. And of Benjamin he said, the beloved of the Lord shall dwell in safety by him, and the Lord shall cover him all the day long, and he shall dwell between his shoulders. And of Joseph he said, Blessed of the Lord be his land, for the precious things of heaven, for the dew, and for the deep that coucheth beneath, and for the precious fruits brought forth by the sun, and for the precious things put forth by the moon and for the chief things of the ancient mountains, and for the precious things of the lasting hills, and for the precious things of the earth and fullness thereof, and for the good will of him that dwelt in the bush, let the blessing come upon the head of Joseph, 
and upon the top of the head of him that was separated from his brethren. His glory is like the firstling of his bullock, and his horns are like the horns of unicorns. With them he shall push the people together to the ends of the earth, and they are the ten thousands of Ephraim, and they are the thousands of Manasseh. And of Zebulun, he said, Rejoice, Zebulun, in thy going out, and Issachar in thy, sent, in thy tents. They shall call the people unto the mountain. There they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness, for they shall suck of the abundance of the seas, and of treasures hid in the sand. And of Gad he said, Blessed be he that enlargeth Gad. He dwelleth as a lion, and teareth the arm with the crown of the head, and he provided the first and he provided the first part for himself, because there in a portion of the lawgiver he was seated, and he came with the heads of the people. He executed the justice of the Lord and his judgments with Israel. And of Dan he said, Dan is a lion's whelp, he shall leap from Bashan. And of Naphtali he said, O Naphtali, satisfied with favor and full with the blessing of the Lord, Possess thou the west and the south. And of Asher, he said, Let Asher be blessed with children. Let him be acceptable to his brethren, and let him dip his foot in oil. Thy shoes shall be iron and brass, and as thy days, so shall thy strength be. There is none like unto the God of Jeshurun, who rideth upon the heaven in thy help, and in his excellency on the sky. The eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms, and he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee, and shall say, Destroy them. Israel then shall dwell in safety alone, the fountain of Jacob shall be upon a land of corn and wine, also his heavens shall drop down dew. Happy art thou, O Israel. Who is like unto thee, O people saved by the Lord, the shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellency? And thine enemies shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. I think that's the third one. God is my provider today, tomorrow, and always. Amen.